Hey guys, it's Mark from the block at Keller Williams Realty. Good to see you again. A quick reminder about the coming event here on April 15th, Saturday at Ivanhoe Brew Company for our appreciation event. Hope to see you there. So one of the topics that we you know, often get questions about is what's the difference between appraised value and market value? All right, so we've got to really look at those, these things as two separate numbers. And sometimes they can be the same, but usually they're kind of going like this, depending on the marketplace, right? So appraised value is going to be a, a printed value that's the opinion of a certified appraiser. That's really only purpose is going to be to substantiate a value in the eyes of a third party, usually a lender for the purposes of financing or a purchase for that matter. Um, in some cases, it can be for estate purposes to uh, to validate the, the price or the value of an asset, usually a piece of real estate. Um, now the market value though, which could be the same, but it's usually passing one way or the other, either in forward or behind it, is gonna be more about what is an actual buyer willing to pay and what is a seller willing to sell it to them too. Right. So, you know, in the market where we're at today, where we've got, you know, we've got a lot of inventory that is starting to come on the market. It's still a low inventory market, but more and more homes are coming on and buyers are a little slow to buy. Well, we're probably going to have some appraised values that are a little bit higher than the market value because buyers are not paying quite as much as they did today as they did a few months ago that are probably going to show up on an appraisal report in the way of a sold comparable. So, you know, many times these prices are going to be, they're going to be a little bit out of line with each other. And so to really get an assessment of what a home is going to be worth, let's just take a look at what's for sale. Let's take at what's under contract and let's take a look at what's sold over the last 30, 60 days. It's probably a good indicator of what a buyer would be willing to pay and where we should list a home. So if that's a conversation that you think we should be having, let's do it. Mark from the block at Keller Williams, and we'll see you at the event here in a couple of weeks.